The pandemic era eviction moratorium is supposed to end tomorrow. Lawmakers have scrambled today to put together a deal trying to extend the federal order. President Biden even calling on Congress to extend the moratorium through the end of December. But what will happen to renters if nothing gets passed? Christiana Ramos joins us to break it down. A bill was taken to the House floor today, but as we near the final stretch, a nationwide extension is looking less promising. The CDC's order prohibiting landlords from evicting tenants who fail to pay rent first went into effect in September. Originally, it was supposed to expire at the end of 2020, but it's been extended a bunch of times. The moratorium has been a blessing uh, during COVID for people who have lost their jobs, had a reduction in hours, have had to resort to drawing Unemployment. Paul Neal is the executive director of Some Other Place. She works with families and individuals facing a variety of challenges. And with tomorrow's deadline looming, she's concerned. There are programs out there that are available to get rental assistance. Some Other Place offers a rental assistance program to Beaumont residents only who can provide proof they were impacted by the pandemic. We could pay up to three months rent, not to exceed $3,000. This debate comes as rent prices have made a 1% increase since last year, according to the Census Bureau. And residents have noticed the uptick too. One viewer saying, my rent is $190 a week. If we can't pay, it's an extra $45. Another viewer saying, rent is outrageous. We can barely rent a house for $1,400 a month. O'Neill says if the moratorium expires tomorrow, we're going to have to pay the bill. It can be a good thing for those who aren't renters. All of those folks depend on the revenue that they get from rent to, to meet their expenses and to provide for their livelihood. The president is calling on local and state governments to send out emergency rental assistance funds ASAP. Jefferson County Commissioner's Court will be considering applying for additional emergency assistance next week. Christiana Ramos, 12 News.